So, Preeti, I've given control to you. Uh, so, you can type what are the commands uh, out of that Linux. So, let's see. So, we have this healthy discussion. So, we have some discussion on that. So, I've given the control to you. Please type the Linux commands. What are you out of that one? So, first of the session, we are starting with the Linux. Okay, sir. Sir, I'm not a to take the control. Oh, sir, I'm not able to type. Hello? Am I audible? Ah, yes, Preeti. How does our service here? Hi, Sharvesh. Very good morning. So, along with you, Preeti and Tripti are there. Okay. So, today we are going to start the session DevOps. Okay. Along with that, so first we are discussing some Linux comments, basic. So, let's see. So, you can also engage with this okay, exam. Okay. Okay, sir.
sir these are the comments uh, we are using in daily basis okay very interesting seriously you are good in the linux only so okay along with that already surveys as uh, already aware of the linux so i think so you people have to know this okay and one more thing so i have one question i you say if i want to see the public ip address what command helps you to see the public ip address example google.com is there otherwise you are checking some of reddit.com i want to see the public ip address of the reddit.com in the command level yeah ns lookup will ns lookup of postman ns lookup helps you to check the public ip address right okay yes. so if if some of the packets are missing okay so you are trying to connect from one server to another server like just a minute i getting the call okay guys so the next question is so the source and destination ip is there okay so some of the packets are losing or you have performance to getting the duration to uh, get the response is very less so you want troubleshoot some by the time source and destination ip address are given so you want to troubleshoot so you are able to get the details or not so what command will you prefer for that so service you. if you know the answer please let me know first we'll start with ping and then okay. uh, if you, if you know the port number we can start telnet also and then a tracer command will help and in worst case we can use tcp dump wireshark also excellent if excellent. you want to go on advanced level yeah. then i'm seeing we also otherwise we can digit and also helps you to so dns traffic or something else so in that one that also helps you to find out so i hope you guys are aware of that one so how you can troubleshoot the uh, things from source to destination x like that x dot x dot x is another thing is that then how you can know that one first you can check the ping command ping is reachable or not then you can use what is it like telnet we can use the telnet command along uh, with sir uh, sorry to interrupt is no, this no, no, no. Uh, class recording yeah recording by priti okay and is there any chance of uh, explaining uh, forward proxy and uh, reverse proxy yes forward proxy and reverse proxy i will tell you so it is about the dns lookup if you example uh, if you have if you have configured the dns it has comes with some set of records you know the a records d dx records some set of records are available okay so okay. we'll plan tomorrow that one okay uh, so i will tell okay. you some explanation on that one so how we can work on the dns records okay so uh, service also i will give information to service also so tomorrow we can somewhat detailed we can discuss on that how we okay and also i had heard about the port forwarding yes. uh, and also um, uh, they will um, uh, what uh, they will provide the host entries in the local no sir okay host entries in the local uh, i w- hmm. uh, yeah sometimes when they were checking about some urls yeah, exactly. they exactly. give the po- what happened that is called white listing okay what happened it's like okay. even the in the web level web application firewall level even the they will white list that one what happened sometimes mm-hmm. your server will block that okay server 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 will block that one. okay so by the time what you have to use in sense okay you have get into the uh, as you can see Plus H O E S T S. Okay, you have to give them what is or which from which server it is uh, come. Uh, that means you are getting the uh, resource and same time what is the DNS name, domain name of that one. Example a dot a dot a dot a space www dot google dot com. You can mention like that. Yeah. So this no, is how. No, uh, oh yeah. My uh, my actually is uh, why so they uh, we already have given the. Uh, URLs, everything in the web server. Okay. Uh, why we have to give the host entries in the etc host or in the uh, if we take in Windows, we uh, give under the host. Good question. Site. Why? Because in sense, 
maybe there are two reasons one because in ip tables you may enable the ip tables okay so then you can you can mention only this port number this ip address only allowed it is accept all acc epd accept all some option is there okay so in that one if you feel mention some http port number http and the, if you mention the port number 80 and accept all there you can able to see only this port number and from this traffic only allowed but same time it is not mentioned there what is the source and destination ip address this is one way you have to enable it another case firewall d in the current server firewall d is there okay this is for the version of 6.10 up to 6.10 Okay, this is from 7. Dot, okay, up to 7.10, including now 8.2. So this these versions are coming with the firewall D and SA Linux policy. You have to check the SA Linux policy. So that also available. So you have to ensure this and all is there any gaps so that you have to enable or disable permissive mode. So number of things are available. So then later that even though it is not allowed, then compulsory you have to whitelist in the server level also. The whitelisting is that under the slash it is host you have to enable your IP address and that domain name. Okay, next question. Sir, if it is blocking from WAF level, then only we have to make this host entry in ATC host. No, no. If you may, if see, madam, if you block it in the WAF level, you can't do anything. Like, web application firewall is like so in in my project we are using akamai do you know akamai it's a oh, sir, yes, provider ah yes. uh, what is it is service it's a isp yes like, yes it's said act like also web and it will it will check the your traffic and if you want any uninterrupted traffic is from outside other countries and for example i want to block the nigeria country then i can block the nigeria country yes. Okay, so such type of things. So the here, if you block that one, you can't do anything. This is a entry point, Akamai, or some of the web web application firewalls are there. And if you want, see, this is not our job, but it is not DevOps job. This is a course for DevOps, but I'm even explaining you some few things. So along with that, Akamai is there. Uh, you can as a web application firewall or another one. If you want trace that, you can go for Q Radar. Okay, it will get the logs. You can get the each and every logs in the Q Radar. It's IBM product. So otherwise, we need further somewhat investigation. Then you can go for a fire eye. Okay. So these are the options or tools are available which helps you to some more further investigation about your traffic or web application. So if you enable in the web application, then only it will come inside to your uh, local uh, zone. Okay. Your corporate zone or some premises zones they already uh, created a resource group. in the resource group they will enable then it will come up okay it is not an happening automatically everything needs to be done like that okay you understand okay okay come on so shall we go for the session again okay so see guys so so i think so hope you are off i just roll down so these are the basic commands if you not aware of that one please you ask the question vivek i want to discuss about this command like that if you not aware of that so i just roll down the things please pay your attention and watch closely what i am doing so i just rolling down the pages the first one you talking about the file commands next we are discussing the process management file commands mostly everyone out of that one so this is the process commands ps top kill process id kill all the process id kill all process means if you want to kill entire java process then you can mention kill all java here kill process id means if you want to kill only particular process id see in the java the number of process id will run I don't want to kill the entire tree structure of the Java or any of the processes. I want to kill only certain process ID. Then you can pick this option, kill process ID, and you can have the option like will kill matching patterns. Something is process kill. We kill means process kill. background foreground if you want to run your process in the background on the foreground then you can work on this option 
solve a for the process management so next to that one you're going to able to see the file permissions so you already have all that one so four two and one the people may always they will use like change mode okay change mode like triple seven like that so instead of you can use user group others plus okay read write execute so if you want only the execute permission you can give execute if you want to give the read permission you can give read if you want to give the read write permission you can give read write or if you want to give only for the users you can give only for the users read write and execute and i want to remove so i want to remove the others i don't know one has to be allowed for others i want to remove the permission then you can use minus okay so that is how you can work out here so next one is going for the searching the command so what are the search patterns grip grip python or pattern directory command grip pattern locate these all are the searching things how you are using the windows so if you see i just give control f what happened it asked me to find so control f is a shortcut for the our pdf the same way for the linux those guys are sort to come with some of the alternative technique this got grip command grip locate find p grip process grip something else you can use this yeah so these are the techniques which helps you to figure out in the searching methodology also so next we are talking about the system information how you can get how you can collect the system information so how do you collect the system information using the data date calculate calculator up time if you want up time you can get how long the server is up and running and what is the load average you can get to know all those details along with that okay so very interesting and w means who is working currently how many users are logged in if you use w you can get how many users are logged in by the time and what is the process id and what are the files they are you opening then you can go lsof already she used here in that command so this is lsof if you want to know what are the files they opened what are the files are opened by the specific user we can go with w and after the w you can know the who is logged in help of the logged in id you can give lsof of particular file or folder then who and all is consuming that one like that example in the real time scenario i'm just talking see the oracle oracle is one application hope you guys know that one oracle is here yeah? it's a database okay any of the machine is running database the any of the user okay the server name oracle has been created in one of the server okay the team has investigating by the time it's very spike you can able to see spike rate in the performance yes i can see spike rate spike rate mm-hmm. performance or memory utilization or something else so through the investigation we can able to see number of oracle users a number of oracle using working with the same server or some cron jobs background cron cron jobs okay cron jobs will run in background or any of the for zombie so it's a zombie z o z o m b i zombie okay errors are zombie even the it the page is not available but it is up and running what's my zombie the page is idle or any of the process is an idle or dead even though it consuming the utilization of the existing any of the java or any of the middleware including uh, if you talk about the web server any of the process it is taking an advantage and it's consuming the space then by the time also we can able to see those type of problems Okay, so I just get the all my real real time experience with you all. So that helps to you understand much better. Next, go for the who am I? I said finger is no one is using the finger. This is a very old command. Okay, you the because number of alternate the information is come for. If you go for now, if you want to check the user information, then you can go. How many knows? Uh, what is it? Ls logs. Now let's log on. Let's user. Some command is there. I just confirm you. So if you want very detail of the users, there's one command. We start from ls only. Okay. So that helps you to uh, to know detail of the users. Okay. So if you want to check the CPU information, memory information, MAND, or if you want to check the 
uh, disk usage. This is for disk. Okay, this is for disk space. How much it is for each and every folder is consuming. Free to check the memory and everything else. Next to that one, how you can compress your files because if you go for the backup case, then seriously you have to work on look on this one. Example, I want to touch some configuration file. Before you touch in a configuration file, whatever it is, you are very much expert. You are have 10 years of experience in the Linux or any of the configuration files you are touching. Compulsory, you have to take the backup first. So how you can take the backup? This is one of the procedure. You can take the backup. So you can use a tar C Z F or C V F. Okay, this is a Gunzi. The number of zip methodologies are available. So why these type of zip methodologies available? Each and every zip methodologies. it will the compression ratio will be increased okay example if it is taking a 10 kb it will take 7 kb and it is another bz will take only 4 kb it depends okay so by the time you have to ensure that you are not losing any of you are not losing any of your data or any of your text files okay so that's how you have to select it like that If you feel my sound is very less, you increase your sound by your system. I repeat once again. Okay. So next, go to the network. Okay. So ping who is domain. So dig already said get the DNS information for domain. So I, if if you use a dig command, then you can know I have to hour up that one. What's my X? What's my X address? What is my CX address? What's my D address? Like that is and everything. So then you can able to know. Whether it is a domain example, if I want to some more detail in that one, then I can take about one of the example. I just take the class dashboard rata.com. Okay, I just take the rata.com. I just click it here. Okay, if you see this, so you want to be out of the certificate. What type of certificate? If you click that, you can able to see already. Already, you can able to see. Hello, the default, and uh, if you want to block something else, see if the certificate has been valid or not. You can able to see it here. You click the the details. You can able to see. They will mostly they will allow you for one year or two years maximum. The certificate is your okay. They again they will check your domain is yeah authorized and authenticated because the certificate validity should be like that. And the two type of things you have to order that one is intermediate certificate. You can able to see who is zero for this one, who issued the certificate, and when it is valid from valid to subject everything. Even who is a the Google dot com, they also have to get the certificate, and they have to be verified with the authorized agent. Okay, so the number of number of agents are available. Geo Trust. Your trust is one of the medium. It's a maximum people for on another wild card. Like number of mediums are available, so you cannot directly get the certificate. There is some medium agent will be there, like SHA two extend validation certificate authority CA, and next one too. So if this guy is giving distribution to this one. Then only you can get the red at all. So this is the one of the sample. I just explaining because of the big command. Okay. So is and doubly get and doubly get I can see and all those things we can get to know like so hope you get an idea about all those commands. Okay, do you have any questions? We can discuss about that. Uh, otherwise, we move to the next topic on GitHub. Okay, this is a general information of Linux people who don't know the Linux because that's what we are enable the Linux. So the Linux helps you to much better to enable your things. So additionally, if you want to learn something else, you can discuss with me personally. I want to have in my real time things, or otherwise now also we can discuss. So you have anything want to discuss on the Linux part? Always welcome. Uh, sir, good. actually, yeah. uh, uh, this is Shruti. Actually, I need forward proxy and reverse proxy. Okay, and, I noted uh, that one. Also that. 
Uh, and uh, the TTC host that you had explained, I'm not uh, like I didn't get that firewall D thing. Mm. Um, uh, I want to discuss it more. Um, mm. Just I'll just collect some knowledge on that. Uh, whenever you discuss with me about pro- forward proxy and reverse proxy, mm-hmm. I'll uh, I'll. Um, um, we can discuss along with that. that. If you want to check the yeah. firewall D, then we can work on the firewall D. Okay. okay. ஜர்னி <laughs> all those things okay he this he lost one month we discussed about the entire linux concept how to configure how to talk the repository and how to work on the linux if you want to build the application and how you can block the firewall and every all the linux end to end we already discussed so next so further only after now come to the topic is called devops so in that one he also willing to join the devops so he started the devops from today onwards so that's why i said actually is the 8 to 8:30 to 9:30 he will come so because i actually he also the time starts as a office time at 11 am onwards so that's why we everyone because i cannot repeatedly take the classes one after one so i i combined sarvesh also in our batch so so 10 to 11 he is and he is working in a combot a backup engineer okay so that's about the sarvesh okay fine i will discuss you shortly any of the time we can five figure it out we can discuss on this area also we can discuss on this including pretty or pretty because is already discussed with that you got it uh, yes sir Done. so now we going to discuss on we are get up okay so so example now we are taking a red hat and uh, now we move to please guys note down the site the try.github.com that is one of the github site try.github.com github.io so site that one when able to get the cheat sheet of the github okay which helps you to analyze i think so hope you guys are working in github also but anyhow let's see uh, oh my oh let's i discuss again with the priti priti uh, let me know what are the commands you over of about in the side of github so if you have know that one please yes, sir, you know how to work with that tripti do you have you have worked with that uh no sir i i don't have any exposure in working place, but surveys as our of that one surveys come on i just give the control to you okay it's a an opportunity for you <coughs> uh come on surveys please type the github commands what and all you are of that in text time you not to get to remember i'll no problem no problem they did for the compulsory it's not there and get up so this is for adding the branch it is not adding the branch it is adding the files okay for tracking purpose ah uh, exactly it add only it will come no b remove the b i enter next i will correct you don't worry okay so once we add we can uh, uh commit it mm. to the github and um, again for configuring the name username mm-hmm. then for configuring the user information like email then we can even uh, give the color for the interface mm mm-hmm. so 
uh, for uh, committing already given uh, for uh, pushing the, our files to the central repository we can use uh, github push for uh, synchronizing our local repository we can use uh, github pull and then github merge to check the logs i'm unable to type yes i'm able to hear you we continue you type one second you click click double click click on the window and it will work out now you can type yeah, i'm trying if you want to take the control double click left button left mouse double click and you can work out that's it okay for uh, seeing the logs what we have done we can give the command git log trying to remember so basically these are only the basics okay but you forgot the important command surveys one command is called git init you forgot this one so this okay. command only makes you to create the engine dot git engine i discussed with you i think so right yeah, yes yes uh, dot it so next to that one so what command we can use it git init is to initialize the git and we have to check the git status i forgot that one git status okay git and git commit git remote and yeah git remote and and git config this is not command git config hyphen hyphen global okay user dot name it will come like that and git config hyphen hyphen global okay okay then user dot email so next i just take a move this one and you can able to git up git not git up it is a git yeah? okay don't use git up here so git push git pull git match okay git log okay git reset okay next git rebase okay git so get cherry pick i like that number of comments are available okay even you missed the number of commands git checkout correct yes yes you missed the command git branch correct you missed the command git yes. branch if and d daily okay and anything else um <laughs> next git you missed the command git fetch get log and git show is on the more command is there okay. okay that's it so how do you feel that you feel some refresh you got some yes no. obviously so like this only our training will be there so that helps you to very strong if you can say to your interviewer you can say confidently 3 years of experience in devops like that So why? Because if you are fingertip in the commands, then you can easy to manage the three years. Okay, I share you the link. I just copy the link and share you in the chat window. Please collect this link in the chat window. 
and you can download this and tomorrow all of you have the exam on this first five minutes some examination in science is a healthy examination okay we're going to discuss because i won't make you to prepare very well don't worry that's my burden but i will take care so the first one we are talking about the git config tools okay git config so i won't discuss before the git i think so hope it is everyone you overall that one why we going for the github any idea why we going for the github as a repository for the code as a repository for the code exactly so repository why we are using the repository for the code so why github is using the Yeah, a number of number of tech medium is there. No, you have the Bitbucket, you have SVN, number of things are there, and you can store the repository in your own laptop. No, then why are you going for this one? Uh, so to maintain the single copy among all. To maintain the single copy above all. Okay. Anything else, Preeti? Do you able to get any points? No idea. No idea. However, see, you need to, you need a GitHub account for yourself anyway. Why we need the GitHub anyway? Because you can manage your versions of code version. Your as a version of your as a your as a version of code control. It's not code C I N T R. So you can, so in P or so you can control your version of the code for that purpose. We are going for the GitHub. Okay, so it is used to control instance. Example, some set of engineers are there. Okay, I just take you the MS Paint. Maybe in two minutes your session will be interrupted. You can join again with the same link. Okay. So just go down. Now we can able to see that. Just click here. Maybe I example. This is the GitHub repository. We have a number of users are available in different zones, different countries. Take like that. Okay. <laughs> example. This is India. Okay. This is Bangalore. This is sorry. India, you can use Canada or whatever the countries. The people, developers are working the same project, some security level project, security project. Okay, example, the company name is X Y Z or T C S company. Example, I just talking about T C S company. Okay, so the T C S company, some security team is a project team, and we have some set of. So you can able to see that Ion, Canada, and some of the countries the people are here. So those guys are trying to join with help of this one. Okay. So they are developing the code. Okay. If example, if they develop the code, they cannot keep the code in the laptop itself. Example, this guy is some set of five teams or the India five teams or the not one or two members five teams. So in sense that all the twenty members are there. Okay, in this team. So like that each and every team, some set of people are already working. They kit up. So that means in the own project. So I want to combine everything. So what the Kriti said the same way. We need to single. Okay. So, so we need to get all the destination into a single source like that. Okay. So here twenty people, sorry, here ten people, sorry, here one people, or he is review the coder, or here three people are there, no problem. Here ten people are there, no problem. Okay, if we fetch, we take everyone, everyone into the one medium. See, I can take it like that. Or each and every one have been working in different mediums. Okay, so I can take everyone here into. my project okay that i can able to call everyone 
all the code is to be combined in one repository the note on the point repository already tripti and as well as survey said is a repository yes the repository we have a lot of record you can record the session so this is how we can able to know see i repeat once again so the github is a version control tool the version control tool which have a single point of control of your all the codes maybe n number of people n number of countries n number of systems n number of laptops not at all the point the point is where you are storing your data and how you are accessing that one so that is a very important here so that's the clear picture shows that one this is called as a gita which one is a gita here so this one is a gita okay and i can use this color much helps you to know and i'm talking about this is a gita okay so from the github so all the activities are happening how it is happening that also you can discuss so we have to know we have to create the server so number of ways they can upload this is just this is our destination okay where is the source source is like number of systems right so they are not, they are not only using the system to upload they are use the eclipse do you know guys everyone is aware of the eclipse you know is eclipse is one of the dot net tool dot net or python any of like in view right Do you know that one Eclipse? Ah oh, yes, sir. Eclipse. So what will they do? They can develop the code there. Now the techniques are even some long five years back itself. That option is available. They they can enable the login, GitHub login in the Eclipse itself. Even the Python also available. Python, Python development. Okay, there also it is available. Okay, to enable the GitHub. Uh, next to that one, you can enable. the other cases like uh, any of the software now currently you are developing uh, uh, tools is there no and all the developing tools the database enabled so in our case we are discussing in a linux machine from how in aws so how what is the technique we are follow here in students i can take you to my github uh, forum my basics yeah uh, works and that when i go to the github cp okay get up so what we going to achieve in our whole class in sense so tomorrow we going to achieve so how we going to uh, get the file are we going to in the linux how we create the instance in the linux that means aws okay how we create the instance in aws the instance name a linux operating system and from there how we can get the repository and how we can upload into the github online and now we can commit branch so number of things we going to discuss in this area so uh, how we can do this version control how we can delete how we can enable it and how we can change us in the cloud level all those set of things we can going to discuss so before that so what i recommend to you you please come with your knowledge of the codes okay uh, if you go to this one we can able to discuss a number of number of commands like this so take your own time okay so even if you find a free time so go to, i given the link already okay i placed the link already okay use that link okay this link with help of this link okay you can collect the your uh, what to say you can collect your pdf and from the pdf please get memorize yourself the commands in fingertip tomorrow i have some just 5 minutes of session about the commands and after the commands we can jump into directly the session how to create the instance from the instance how can communicate to that uh, uh, mobile stem from the mobile stem from how you can create the github directories and how you can create a tens 10 python files from the 10 python and to uh, example 10 shell script files those 10 python and 10 shell script files how you can going to upload from your local system cloud system aws to your github repository and what are the steps you will follow what are the commands you have to be um, make familiar yourself those things we can discuss on tomorrow so i request you one one task please read out the read the commands what it is in the pdf okay again uh, wait wait read the github account so tomorrow if you have 
come with the both tell me preeti what's your talk uh sir uh, this is trupti i had heard that uh, git and github both are different oh yes see it is it is not that much different if you want i can show now itself just go to here okay so we can discuss that one also google.com okay git and github difference see the difference of that one Okay, what is the difference? Simply put, Git is a version control system that lets you manage and keep track of your source history. This is what we're discussing, right? Do you have to see this? Yes. Yes, yes. So, GitHub is a cloud-based hosting service that helps to manage the Git repository. This repository is managed in the cloud level. So, if you're done in the locally, then Git is enough. If you're done, what I'm doing in Git and GitHub, I took the both. So what a GitHub is a version control tool that tries to manage keep track of a source code history only in the local system. But if you include the GitHub also, what is happening? You can host the those Git management in the cloud level also, and you can manage using the Git repository. See here, we they clearly mentioned GitHub is a cloud-based hosting service, and that you manage using Git only. That means Git repository. So if you have the open project, the open source project that you use Git. then github it is designed designed to help you to better manage them even you can create the account in github only see here so github.com so github.com if example now if you start if you see this is github.com this is mine mine so i'm talking github only but what you package you will install in the linux you install the package git only not github listen carefully so git is a command which used to manage and github is for the cloud environment so both combined then only you can able to push you are you can manage remotely and you can use it anywhere example i just go to my account you can able to see that one so we wake you gone and so this is about my profile already 66 repositories available in my comments including all those things you can able to see here. okay everything so what and all i'm collected so i just paste everything sorry about this i think so hope this is enough for the today session so i requested you guys to come with the preparation of two things so we'll read the comments with the link uh the sir topic. actually um, i got to know the difference git is for desktop and github is for cloud right right so um i don't have any connection with the cloud if i want to uh, install git in my laptop and i have to simply work means uh, when i install git in my laptop it will install by automatically just git repositories right yes it will that's why i said if you use the like, git you need okay it will create your locally one engine and in git engine okay. i tomorrow i will explain you in the name of dot git okay okay only it can manage everything and tomorrow i will understand your question i got your question so it will it okay. will opening in the local machine your desktop or laptop okay so once okay once if you want to push into the github then you can go for the that option out in to the repository otherwise it will be available only local in your machine if you until you use a git push if you use git push then compulsory you have the what the remote url cloud url Otherwise, it will be available locally in your machine only. But you can trace the things. Hundred percent, you can trace what happening, what's happening, everything. You can use a command called git status. You can use a command called git logs, and you can check everything. Ah, uh, sir, uh, this uh, the commands which you are telling it is already like even if we use the um, desktop version or a cloud version, yes, we yes. will use all these commands. Yes, and I got the difference theoretically that uh, yeah. like. Uh, okay, but if it it is cloud version, it is desktop version. Difference mm. between Git and GitHub. But yes. I want to know it in practical how it differs actually. Um, tomorrow so, only I can tell you because uh, the today session okay. is one hour. Okay. So okay, okay. Tomorrow we can discuss that. So how we okay. can install that one? How we can defer that one? Those things we can see in practically. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Then Sarvesh, okay. from your side, do you have any questions? Uh, not for not for today. Thank you, Sarvesh and Preeti. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, sir. Thank you. So please read out these two uh, two things. What I'm looking for, 
and tomorrow we can meet each thank you both of all of you okay sir okay thank you, thank you sir bye bye